is it Shami from Crafts Names and Things. So I'm super excited to show you um, this great idea that I've been working on. So a few weeks ago I went to Michael's and they had beautiful Tim Holtz tissue paper, which is beautiful, but I can justify paying $10 for some tissue paper. You know, I can spend that on food or something else. So I decided, um, well, how can I kind of make something similar um, just with the supplies that I have on home, at home? So I did some research um, and I came up with two different ways of how you can get like the Tim Holtz look um, on tissue paper because I love using tissue paper for collaging and um, for my ATCs for that kind of thing it just is beautiful and it adds a lot of character and it has a lot of text and it adds texture and it's very thin so it goes on canvases and projects very very easily so um, I'm going to show you what I came up with so this is the first page and this is just printed on tissue paper but you can also do this on tracing paper and I really like the tracing paper better because I think that it has more of kind of the Tim Holtz weight of tissue paper because it's his is like tissue paper but it's kind of a little thicker so this is the tracing paper and I just printed it on my computer kind of got some images um, from like the vintage library um, that I found online. I just put in vintage, vin free vintage images and um, I just inserted them into a Word document, altered the text, I wrote some text out, and um, I just came out with these beautiful pages. So I'm super excited to show them to you. That's one too. And here's another one. That one has butterfly and a lady. And just the text is all different kinds. Some's bold, some's not bold. It's just really cool. There's this one, and these are actually sheets. These are copy paper sheets, because I wanted to show you kind of how it looks. But it works very, very easily. So um, I'll show you how to do that one first, and then there'll be another one too if you don't have access to a printer. All you need is just a regular printer at, you know, that you use at home. That's it. It can be laser or jet ink. It doesn't matter. I have a laser printer and a jet ink, but um, I mostly use the laser for projects like this just because I'm very frugal when it comes to my ink. So this is just tracing paper that I got from the dollar store, um, and that's what we're going to use. Uh, so I can show you kind of the procedure. And I got this idea from a lady on YouTube called Wally, and she does this with um, her pages too, um, but she does it on tissue paper, and you can do the exact same thing with tissue paper. But I just want to use tracing paper. It's a little bit more sturdier, and um, I just think that it's more like the Tim Holtz. So all you'll need is a tape runner. If you don't have a tape runner, you can just find something. You're just going to run around the edges. So you can use double-sided tape, whatever you have, even wet glue or glue stick would work fine too. So you're just going to, and actually I should use a glue stick. This thing has been driving me crazy, this little paint burner, it's been sticking to everything. So I recommend a glue stick. It will do the exact same thing. And you can get those at the dollar store for super cheap. And like I said, the tracing paper, and this is just a scrap piece of paper that I had. Right? And the tracing paper is a little bit bigger than um, the regular paper, and you just set it right on top. Now, if you want to, you can be finicky about it and make sure that there's no wrinkles or anything, but I'm not like that. I could care less. <laughs> I just kind of want to get it done, so I don't worry about it. Okay. Now, it's up to you. If you want, you could just fold over the sides, but what I like to do is just take my scissors and just cut around the excess. So just go around the whole page and cut up, and you would do this with tissue paper too, the exact same way. And then all you do is feed it through your printer, come up with a layout on your computer of different texts and vintage images. You can look up free vintage images on Google, and um, there are a bunch of great sites that give you free images of ephemera, of text, of letters of all sorts of stuff and then you'll just take your you'll just make out a layout in um, Microsoft Word is what I use but whatever word processing program you have and you just feed it through and the reason why you need the paper behind it is because that way your your printer doesn't get clogged 
So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now, right, and I'll show you the difference here. So this one is with tissue paper. This one's with tissue paper too. And then this is the one with tracing paper. So when you're ready to use it, all you'll do is just take your scissors and you will cut around the edges. Just cut around all the edges that you want. And most of the time we get scared off. And you know, this is just a project. Just get a whole bunch of these papers ready at one time and then you have some in your stuff. But this is how it looks. It's absolutely beautiful. It's great to use on an art journal page, on an ATC, that kind of thing. So that's the first way that you can make your own like faux um, tissue paper. And like I said, you can also just take regular tissue paper and do the exact same thing. Now, let's say that you did not have access to a printer. What you could do is you could just get regular tissue paper, just a white piece of tissue paper, and then you just need a permanent ink pad or waterproof. Stays on, I don't know the name of, of them. <laughs> I get whatever's cheap and whatever's on sale. Okay? So take it in. See that paint runner? <laughs> okay. So just take it and I like to do mine kind of in smaller batches, but it's just customized tissue paper that you can do yourself. And you just take it and set it on there. Just like that. And you're just going to kind of think of a layout. You'll get all your stamps out, all your kind of background stamps, word stamps. Um, these are just, I mean, I got this one for $1.50 at Michael's. I'm definitely not a fancy stamper person. I just don't have the money to buy, you know, the latest stamp. So I just get whatever's on sale. So I'm just taking out a few things that I think will look nice. Okay. And I just buy, you know, whatever I can. And whatever's on clearance. Okay, and then you're just going to take your stamp pad and you will ink it up. This one, I have to use my other one. Just like that. And like I said, you just want it to be waterproof. And this one is just a background text. I'm just going to apply pressure. And it's okay if it's not a full image. And then you can take other stuff, like we can add a butterfly. I've seen Tim Holtz with lots of butterflies, so we'll add a few butterflies here. And you know, just have fun. This is a fun process and reorientate your stamps in whatever way you want. Put that there too. Let's put one on this end too. So this is a fun thing. Just grab all the stamps that you have and go to town. You can do words. You can customize it however you want. I kind of like the beautiful vintage look that his tissue paper has. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And like these stamp, a lot of these stamps are even from the thrift store. So. Kind of whatever you want, whatever kind of image and look you want. Okay, and then I just recently bought this stamp. It's on sale for two dollars at Hobby Lobby, so I just waited for it to go on sale. Um, it's a text. It's a text stamp too. I love text. I really love um, what it does to a background. It's just so pretty, and I like that it's kind of faded. And you know, I don't want a complete image, but that's just me personally. If you want a complete image, then go for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we can add here. And you just want to make sure that it's waterproof ink, just because when you put, you know, your mediums on top, you don't want them to run too much. So that's why you use the ink. 
And keep in mind that you can add layers on top and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to add a little bit of text over there. And this one's my favorite. So you get the point, and you could even do this on the tracing paper too, and it would work well too. But see, you have your own customized, beautiful tissue paper that you made at home for with stamps that you already have at your house. So you can do it that way, or you can just kind of come out with your own layouts. Just like that. Okay? And this, and as I said, it's very easy. You just take it off and you have beautiful layouts that you can make yourself. So I will make the layouts that I have um, available in my Etsy shop. So you'll get three different styles of prints and they'll be a dollar and you can just keep using them as much as you want. Just, you know, do the download once and then you can keep using them. But if not, um, then just experiment, download some pictures off the internet, um, type in some text in Microsoft Word, and make your own beautiful tissue paper. And it's very, very easy to okay, do. Okay guys, so, so this is one, sorry, I decided to add another, but this is one that I just made, and this is with tracing paper. It got crumply, and which I love, I crumpled it up. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I just used my stamps, and I created a pattern. And it looks absolutely beautiful. So you can see some text and all sorts of stuff. So this is just a quick, easy way for um, you to just make custom tissue paper and tracing paper um, that's very close to um, the kind that you can get from Tim Holtz. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys, and that's the piece we made together, but I just wanted to show you that if you really take your time and think of composition, you can really make something that's really beautiful. Okay? So, I'll, and you can, you don't have to use butterflies, you can also use keys and um, just beautiful stamps. Just go through your stash and see all the beautiful stamps that you have, okay? So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.